Okay, starting with measuring DC milliamps, we're gonna demonstrate the couple ways that you can do that and some other features around that with the milliamp clamp meter, the 773. First, it, we will use the clamp. So if we hit the clamp, if we hit the clamp button, um, it'll boot up and zero itself out. Once it gets zeroed out, you can then take a wire, clamp around that's sourcing a milliamp current. And you can see we're sourcing eight milliamps here. And now the eight matches. And we can step this up and you can see it will respond accordingly. If you're seeing a slight variation, you can always take the clamp out and see if it's zeroed out. See how I'm not going all the way to zero, so I could hit zero again and then re-measure. And it'll give you a little bit more accuracy. So that's with the clamp. Other ways that you can do this is with the ports. So we can actually measure four to 20 out with the ports. And when you're measuring four to 20 out, we have to hook up in series. So I'm gonna unplug one jack, go over here and add a second test lead so that we can have an in-series connection. Now, if you were to be trying to measure the four to 20 out, oh, to do this, we're gonna click on this button. We're gonna switch from measure clamp to source. No, we're not sourcing, we're trying to get to measure, so measure and then the ports. And now we can see we're measuring the output. Now, if this was a transmitter that was sitting on a bench, you might need to supply loop power, and you can do that by holding the shift key, or touching the shift key, and then hitting loop power, and it'll turn on the loop power. And at that point, you would then power up your transmitter, and you would be able to measure your four to 20 out of that transmitter. You also have the ability to turn on heart. The reason you would need that um, it's not like a heart communication device, but it does enact a 250 ohm resistor that puts it in series so you don't have to put your own 250 ohm resistor in. Hope that helps and that's with measuring DC current or DC milliamps um, on things. Okay, now we're going to get into sourcing with the 773 on the milliamp um, output. So again, we're gonna be in milliamps. We can then hit this and toggle through, simulate, measure, and source. I don't know if you saw that measure, there you go. You can see it says measure, and we're gonna do a source right now. And what you can do is you can use the function key and dial over, these little yellow arrows will tell you what you can do. So you can dial over and increase that. You can see I'm sourcing from this unit and then this, um, 789 is measuring it, okay? So you can do, you can um, change what you're gonna output with that, or if you turn off the shift button, you can just go to 100% or to zero, bump it up by 25% at a time, and you can see it will do that. I hope this video helped you understand how to use milliamp source on the 773. If you have any other questions on other features or questions about this feature in the 773, let me know and I'll try to address them. Okay, and next what we're gonna show is how do you source DC voltage instead of current? So in a zero to 10 volt DC control system. So what we'll do, again, we know this already, but just to review, you toggle through to get to source. Now, if you, were where you were before, you would have been in milliamps. Just click this button. You'll go to DC voltage. Make sure it says source and DC voltage. Now you're good to go. Again, you can use the function keys to dial over and adjust those, or you can just use 25% uh, increase or go up to 100%, however you would like. Now, you'll notice this didn't change. Why is that? I didn't change my leads. So you will need to change your lead inputs and now you can see 10 volts out, 10 volts here, and so far, and so on. Okay, we're gonna talk about simulate. So again, we go into milliamp output, and we go to measure, no, source, no, we wanna do simulate. So we are into simulate, we got milliamps. We can then drive it up to the number we want, type it in if we hold the, or hit the function key or the, the shift key, 
The difference is, why would you use simulate? You would use simulate in the case that you want to hook up to a system and you want to replace a transmitter, but you still have a power source um, that is supplying power. Source is used if you don't have a power source and you're going to actually be pumping your own power into it. But if you don't have a power source, then you would use the simulate function. So now what we're going to talk about is in the 773, the feature called milliamp scale. And what this is, is it has the ability for you to clamp onto a system, a 4 to 20 milliamp signal, and send that signal somewhere else without lifting the wire and breaking the loop. This can be useful if you want to do send the 4 to 20 signal into some third party system, or if you want it to go into like a logging, a logger, a data import, uh, import uh, piece of equipment, something like that. So what we have set up is we have the 789, uh, 773, and a 771 over here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the 789 is gonna be our output, okay? So I need to zero this out. And we are going to output with the 789 with, through the red test lead, and we are gonna measure with the 773. So I can show that real quick, zero that out once more. And now you can see I've got four milliamps that I'm measuring from the output of the 789. But notice the 771 has not changed. That's because we're not in milliamp scale yet. We're only measuring with the clamp. To go into milliamp scale, I'm gonna hit shift and then milliamp scale. And now you can see this 773 is now outputting the four milliamp as well. So now watch, I'm gonna step it up at the 789. You're gonna see it measure over here, and then you're gonna see it source and get measured over here. Again, as we step up, you'll see it walk through the various screens as they catch up. So this is a really cool feature. If you do need to pull a signal out of a system without lifting the wire, you can do that with the 773. Obviously this is a temporary solution, it's not a permanent solution, but it is a pretty cool uh, feature that a lot of folks don't take advantage of. I hope this helps. What we're gonna talk about is milliamp in out. This is a little bit different than the milliamp scale, whereas milliamp in and out is you are choosing what you're going to source out of it and you're just measuring with the clamp. Versus before, what you measured with the clamp, with milliamp scale, what you measure with the clamp goes out the output. You are now dictating what is going to be output and the clamp is just passively measuring. Now, when and why would you use this? Well, if you have a repeater or if you have um, a transmitter of some kind that has a milliamp signal that comes in and a milliamp signal that goes out and you wanna make sure that if you gave that transmitter or that repeater 12 milliamps in and you wanna make sure the 12 milliamps are coming out, you can do that all with a single meter with the 773. So let's get into it. Again, similar setup as before. We got a 789, 773, and a 771. Now, instead of, right now I'm in milliamp scale, if I don't wanna do milliamp scale, all I have to do is click this and milliamp in out. Now you can see I was doing, I was measuring 16 and this was doing 16. Now it's measuring zero because that's what I'm telling it. Now I can step this up, okay? And you can see the 771 changes, but the 773 clamp me measurement has not. Now if I change this, again, our measurement will change over here, but the output of the 773, this being read by the 771, does not change. So that's how you use milliamp in and out, and I hope this feature is beneficial. Now, this next feature for the 773 is called continuous scaling. This feature is worth paying a second person. It really can um, help you be two places at once. It makes two of you, um, and it, it can definitely justify its cost very quickly when you don't have to have that second person with you. So how it works is it's going to continuously step up or ramp um, from zero to 20 milliamps and back down over and over again. And let's jump into it and show you how it works. So if you once you have your meter on, you can say, well, I'm in, let's say I'm in milliamps, I'm in measure right now. Well, no, I wanna be in source. So we wanna source 
and we hit this little um, ramp, ramp fast, and then step up button. And you can choose whether you want it to ramp, you want it to ramp fast, or if you want it to step. And there you go. A lot of people will use the step. You see it starts at zero. This is my output, the 771 is measuring. And here in a second, this is gonna jump up to five. And now right here, it's caught up. So what you can do is you can leave this in a at a transmitter or a place that you need to source, leave the 773, walk over to a valve or something else, and look and see, is that valve moving? Am I hooked up to the right spot? Um, and this can allow you to do that and be in two places at once instead of talking to your partner on a radio or a telephone, trying to see if they're seeing it on the other end. You can do it all by yourself. Again, another great feature, and I hope this helps get more out of your 773 than you did before.